Okay. Sorry, people. Sorry for the late start. I had a camera issue. It didn't want to... Uh... <laughs> hey, ship! Welcome in. All right, so I just want to make sure that you can hear the music, but it's not too loud. Good morning, Shipwreck. How are you doing? Hey, Shadow Reaper. Welcome in. Thank you for joining me on this 61-day adventure. Are you ready to go? So, um, Ship, how's the, the music? Is it too loud? Can you let me know? Are you hearing it at all? Because I can turn that down, too. You don't hear the music? Okay. I can turn that up a little bit. It's just some background music. Oh, you're on mobile, so it might be a little different for you. All right, Shadow Reaper, are you able to hear any music in the back? In the background? Now I hear it. Good. Awesome. And thank you, Shadow Reaper, for doing the KDT check-in. Yay! Let's go, KDT! And ship perfect for you. Excellent. Thank you so much for the feedback. I really oh, appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And Judge, oh my God, Judge, you are on a subscription run. Thank you for joining in. So glad you were able to join us today. So, uh, for those of you who are new, well, I ha I'm still new, put it that way. Anyways, so what we are doing, we have 61 days. This is the Index Card a Day uh, 2023 Challenge. Now, Daisy Yellow Art is who um, originally did started this, and she started it 13 years ago. So this is the 13th annual. Okay, like I said, I can't stay. I'm at work, but I hope you have an amazing stream. Thank you so much, Ship. I appreciate you at least checking in with me and make sure I'm okay. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm not used to doing this yet. This is still fairly new to me. But I appreciate you checking in. And, uh, you know, if if uh, if Supreme is able to join in later and say hi, that would be awesome. Um, if not, I wouldn't mind uh, if she watches the VOD later and get, gives me a little bit of commentary uh, and feedback. I always love the feedback. Thank you, Ship. I appreciate that. So as I was saying... The Daisy Yellow started this uh, project 13 years ago, so this is the 13th annual, and it's basically just do a little bit of art each and every day. So you've got index card a day, so you can either use the 3x5s or you can use the 4x6. I've chosen to use 4x6, it gives me a little more coverage, but at least it gives me something, something more to work on. She probably won't be able to. She's at work too, but being a teacher, she's in class. I'll tell her to check your VOD. Aw, oh, thank you, Ship. I do appreciate it. Um, so I hope you have a wonderful day at work. Don't work too hard. Um, it is Thursday. It's almost the weekend, so enjoy. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So we are going to do, I'm trying to give myself like a, a one-hour time limit. Uh, because I do actually have to work too, so this way I'm doing this before work. I'll do, you know, probably half a day's worth of work, and then I will uh, maybe stream. I know uh, Cardoodles, my friend, is going to be streaming a bit, and uh, she has uh, a big weekend plan, so I'll have to check her schedule and see what she's doing. So whether we're doing Fall Guys or Minecraft or something, we'll see. Um, so with Daisy Yellow. A little bit more of the introduction. In case someone is confused or doesn't know where to start, she has provided, there's, an, there's a prompt for each day of the week, and there's also a theme for each, each week. Now, it's up to you whether you follow these, if you need them. It's, it's just to assist with your inspiration in case you kind of get stuck. So, for this week, the theme is drawing, mark making, pen, pencil, marker, and ink. So, you know, if that's what you want to do, if you're good at drawing or you want to do mark making so you can use stamps, uh, pen work, pencil work, marker, ink, whatever. Uh, week two is collage and week three is typography, found text, lyrics, poetry, and lists. 
I'm probably going to be doing a mix of all of these. A lot of what I do is going to be mixed media. Um, so we'll see. Uh, for today, the sap, the uh, prompt is sapling. Uh, tomorrow, polka dots or graphic dots, which which could be fun. Um, three is map. Four, day four is espresso. Day five is zebra or stripe. Day six, wildflowers. Day seven, treble clef. There's also a mini challenge, and I'm not exactly sure how these work. I'll have to look it up. But mini challenge, make a greetings from blank uh, card. So you can actually make a card. Um, and, you know, that's the mini challenge. I think there's some sign up that you can do on uh, Daisy Yellow's Patreon that will give you a little, uh, uh, give you some bonuses and contests to enter depending on what you do. Sorry, I need my coffee. All right, so what I am going to do, I'm going to try and keep today fairly simple. What I did do already was these three by or four by six cards that I ordered are fairly thin. I found that um, I'm thinking there there's going to be a lot. There's going to be 61 cards, um, but they're fairly thin. They're not the heavy duty ones that I'm used to when it comes to you know old fashioned recipe cards. So what I did was I prepped a few ahead of time, and I basically glued two together. So they've got a little bit more firmness to them. They've got a little more structure. And then on some of the others, I went so far as to cut out some four by six watercolor paper and attach those to the back of just one index card. Uh, to give us some stability, but also because I know I am going to be doing some watercolor painting on a bunch of these cards during the challenge. So these are already prepped, so I've got them all ready to work with. I'm also going to be prepping. I won't do it today. I will do some on stream at some point uh, and uh, using some stencils, some, uh, not Mod Podge, but... Uh, um, molding putty um, and use some of that on there with some stencils the problem is with you know when limiting to a one hour stream they need to be dried before you can actually work with uh, the, the putty that you put down the molding paste so chances are I'll do a bunch of those off stream uh, let them dry and then they will be ready the backgrounds will be prepped for another another day so that being said, I'm going to keep this one fairly simple. I'm going to try and work with just what is on my desk, um, which is a lot. Actually, I'm going to grab a couple other items because I know I want some of my ink. I want a different color. And maybe this one, this one. And we've got these. I'm going to try, as I said, do it fairly simple today because this is fairly quick. Plus, we're doing all the intros and stuff. And we'll see what we can accomplish. So, I have I have a theme. I had an idea. There is... I have some papers that I've already done. Uh, I was using ba making background papers with tissue paper. So, I wanted to see... If there's a way I can incorporate these as well. And with it being June 1st, I can't believe we're already into June. These are some of the papers that I've already done. I actually melted uh, tissue paper, like napkins, onto paper using with saran wrap in the middle, which is what's holding it in place. So that's a project for another day. But I did do a few. Now I did this one. I kind of like this. So this is this on white paper. And then I did this on some paper that I had already uh, coffee stained. So it has that yellow uh, feel to it. Because, and, and you know, I've got the impression in already from the uh, tissue paper. So this one is actually double-sided. It's two piece, pieces of the tissue paper, the napkin, because I was able to do the 
image side and then the, the next layer down because napkins are usually three layers the oh, yeah this was yeah this was napkins supreme welcome in good morning just heading out the door for it. I wanted to stop in and say hello. Well, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. But yeah, these these were napkins. I separated out the pages, put some saran wrap on, put a piece of my my uh, coffee stain paper down, and ironed it together. So it worked out really nice, especially with the coffee stain. And then the other, the second layer of the napkin still had a bit of an imprint of the image. So I did that on the back. So I've got a, a fairly strong piece of paper here that I can use. Um, so that's, and I love the antique type look of it because now it's kind of yellow. Saran wrap and an iron. Perfect. Yep, that's exactly what I did. And then this one's nice and bright white. So I think we're going to use this one um, for today. As I said, just going to try and wing this. But the first thing I'm going to do, so we have our card index card this is one of the ones that i've doubled i've got a bit of a stencil here i want to just do some background imaging on it so what you're going to see me do for a lot of this challenge satiny finish yes it is supreme very much so but thank you so much for at least stopping in and say hi i really appreciate that i gotta drive have a great day all right you have a great day too i will see you in one of your streams later and uh you know thank you have fun. Enjoy your day. It's almost the weekend. And we will talk to you soon. All right. So what I wanted to do is get, oh, as I was saying, most of what you're going to see me do through this challenge, there's going to be a lot of mixed media. Now, mixed media means you use various forms of media. There's no there's no one right or wrong. You're going to mix Mod Podging. You're going to mix collaging. You're going to mix inking, stamping, whatever. There's going to be a lot to do so I want to add some form of inking to this I've got this pretty little stamp uh, the stencil that I received I'm trying to remember where I received that it's pretty cool um, well, I think it was through Temu Tem yeah probably all right thank you Supreme I will talk to you later all right, let me just move my, there we go. Okay, so we are going to ink this up. I just want to add some background color to this. Uh, where's one of my, did I already have one over here? Probably not. So get my little inky brush and what I want to do is kind of place this on here. This has lilacs, and, and lilacs are one of my favorites, especially since, you know, it's the month of June. Usually they're in bloom. Like, I'm, I'm originally from Ontario, Canada. I live in Quebec now, but usually by May 2 for a weekend, the lilacs used to be in full bloom. But spring was a little long this year, and everything is taking longer to bloom. So I'm just seeing walking around the neighborhood that the lilacs are blooming now and they are so fragrant. I just love them. Uh, so I want to incorporate some of these lilacs on here. How well does this rip? Oh, it's not so bad. Especially with, you know, there being a piece of uh, plastic, like saran wrap in between. I'm really surprised it rips this easily. Okay, because I don't really want such a, I don't want an even edge on here. So this is going to kind of go somewhere on here. I think we can make that work. All right, let's get the stenciling done. So let's use, that's dark blue. Those are dark blues. Mm. Actually, let's use this one. <coughs> what is this? This is a Tim Holtz stress ink. This one's Mermaid Lagoon. So, there is no right or wrong to any of this. This is your art. You do you. You do it the way you are comfortable. You give it the colors that it needs. 
you use the technique that you want. Actually, I can mix these two. So this is kind of this is called faded jeans. So if I can get that open. Let me know if you can see. I can actually zoom in a little bit more if you need me to, but so just let me know if you need to see a little bit more. So right now I'm just using, this is weirdly enough, we use tools that are definitely not meant for art, but we use them for art. So this is like a, a little makeup brush. So I'm just laying on color. Now the nice thing about these uh, paints, these inks, they are water soluble. And you may as well do this little corner down here. So if I were to put any kind of a spray or water on this afterwards, these will run. So you got to be very careful about you know what you do in that instance. I'm just going to make a couple areas just a little bit deeper in color. And I think that's what I want there. That'll do. Now, I do want to make sure I've got one of those. has some really cool images. We might use a couple of those. All right, so we're going to want this here. So we are going to figure out the placement here because we want to get a lot of this here. So what I will do is just trim this up. Can trim it up further once I get it on here, but I want to make sure that it's here. All right, that should work. Glue, glue, glue. All right, let's get, let's do this the easy way. Glue stick. All right, uh, background piece, just so I don't get glue all over the mat. Get a good layer of glue on here. And where did we want this? All right. <coughs> Never fails. There's always cat hair on my desk. Doesn't matter how many times I have removed it with a lint roller, there is cat hair. It's a never-ending battle as long as you've got pets. All right, let's trim this. Okay, so I'm liking the way those colors work. Tones are kind of the same, but this still needs more. And where do I have, I have all kinds of stuff on my desk, so there's no shortage of that. Um, what I wanted, though, was a little bit of a script stamp, so I want to see if I've got one of those. I don't want that, but I do want my black, my stays on. And I'm going to grab, because I don't think I've got any in here. No. One second, I'll grab a quick little script stamp. I'm 
so many of these. that I want never fails thing is the theme for today was is sapling <laughs> look what I have I could do just a little bit of a sapling in one of these corners and we have Put that there. It stays on ink. Okay, so we are at 7.30. I know I started a little late because I was having issues with the camera. That's okay. So there's our little sapling. Uh, and where is my alcohol? Just to clean the stamp off. So I have a question for those of you watching. Is there, especially since we're going to be doing this for 61 days, is there a technique or a craft um, product or something that you uh, want more information on or a better demonstration Ooh, this would be cool you know something you know in case there's something that you've seen used but you really maybe missed what was happening and you want more of an explanation on how it was used or, or a demonstration put that uh, you can put that in the comments or save it for oops, save it for one of my my next streams and ask me them but I'd be interested to know if there's something that you are interested in learning that you want me to demonstrate on the stream we can maybe incorporate that into one of the one of the streams later on. Okay, so we're going to do some background stamping with this. Just want something more, and it doesn't have to be black. Just to give it really more texture, but just more background. <coughs> As it's not really texture that we're adding, we're just adding colors. But we're adding interest because there's more things to look at than just, you know, just a flower. But I'm also going to layer up. Several washi tapes. I've got so many cool images on here. Do, 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 do. OK, 
Okay, so apparently the sapling <coughs> prompt is working because you know I even have a sapling showing here. <laughs> it's just too funny. Even though I wasn't planning on doing and following that prompt, the sapling prompt is uh, kind of showing its its head everywhere I turn. So just fussy cutting this this image out. I was kind of thinking I kind of want it in a frame. So I think I can use, ooh, I have, okay, so does that fit, does that fit, I think that would be the frame, the round one won't work, that one's too skinny, so this frame here will work really well, get our mat. Hello, Chan. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Okay, so I think I kind of want it. Let's do it off center. Nothing looks right when you do it center center so we have that little frame like I said I'm just working with what's on my desk I'm trying not to overthink things or plan things out too much I'm fine Chan how are you happy Thursday were you, are you streaming today? Or have you already finished your stream for today? Sorry, I'm doing early streams for the next, you know, 61 days doing this uh, because it's a, it's a challenge and, you know, limiting myself to an hour to get this little piece of art done each and every day uh, per the challenge. So, throw that in there. And then I still have to work, so. Later on today, you'll be streaming. You haven't streamed much this week. I've been unwell. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry you haven't been well. Okay, so this may have been a mistake, because now I can't really see it. Image is not showing through. So what if we, what if we put down? What was I looking at? Maybe this one. Well, I hope you're feeling better. Naruto. Oh, I guess something's not working. Hold on, Naruto. Let me see if I can get my. Stream elements. Is it stream lab? My alerts from the stream labs aren't working. Let me just check. Cloudbot, okay, Cloudbot's open. We're good there. So, I know you did a uh, an alert, Naruto. I just didn't see it happen. Um, and I didn't, well, I see it in the chat, but I didn't hear it. So, I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the Streamlabs. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now, but thank you, Naruto. Welcome in. Glad you could make it. So, 
So obviously this image needs to be on a very, very light or pale background. Oh my god. They make this, the wrapping on these so tight. <laughs> they don't want you to get into it. Let's get that over there. Oh wow, that's sticky. Okay. Get rid of a bunch of these. This is actually cute though. Almost fits in there. Almost. Okay, well I'll keep an eye out for your stream, Chan. I know I still have to work today, but I'll keep an eye out for your stream. I'll help mod a little bit. It's gonna fit in there. I have, will this work? Eh, yeah, sort of. Sometimes papers just aren't thick enough to work on a hole punch, or a corner punch. Yeah, it's not liking it. We do it manually. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so if that goes in there, then we want the bottom probably somewhere about here. So, some of probably questions, so what do people do if they have 61 of these cards after the challenge? What on earth do they do with all of them? Well. If you look on Instagram, there is a, a group on Instagram for this. Uh, there's also, I believe, a Facebook group. So what some of them have done in the in the past with their, what is KDT? KDT is a group of people that help promote each other. It's definitely a gaming community. Um, DJ is part of it. Thank you, going to lurk for a little while. All right, thank you, Chair, and enjoy your lurk. Thank you for lurking. Um, so, Neuro 2 KDT. Uh, we're probably not going to see this well anyway, so we're just going to put it there. We've got some layers. Um, KDT does uh, a lot of promoting of other streamers. Uh, it's a it's a very large community uh, discord and they've got a website and they really do promote uh, help other people succeed other streamers succeed um, and they you know they play games together you know it's not like there isn't games to be played but it's definitely something that is something DJ is very passionate about he's uh, He's been able to get a, a few of us into it uh, lately. We've we've joined the KDT family, so to speak. So, you know, we, we find new streamers. We're expanding our repertoire of people that we want to follow and people that we want to uh, associate with. And they're just, they're really good people. Really good. All right, so we have something here and let me see i'm trying to figure out what else i want to do i know i'm going to put a sentiment on that that's a given i don't think i want to do any more inking i've got more flowers than that Those are
just kind of collaging a bunch of stuff on here. Do, do, do. Where's my my book? Okay, I know I had scissors here. <laughs> Never fails. Okay, so we've got that there. You know, it may seem like nonsense to put, you know, a tiny little piece, but it kind of adds some cohesiveness to the piece when you have similar pieces in different areas. Okay, what else do we want to do? Uh, time check, I got 15 minutes left. All right. So, I don't think I want to add any of those. They're just a little too busy. These, unfortunately, we won't see them because they're so uh, pale. But, what I could do, where are some of my other little ones? This one's going to be pale too. bright colored for it. Ooh. Maybe. Or maybe even something just like this. It's always good to addition pieces. See where you want them. At least I know these ones won't. little book page. Kind of liking that one. I look for something fairly simple. No, I think I need the taller element just to just to give it something more. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that on there. Kind of blends in a little bit, but it still gives us some and then I think just because I always want to have a butterfly somewhere. I'm gonna put that guy there. Oh, so what I was saying before um, Neurotu asked me about the uh, what is KDT, um, what a lot of people will do with, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people, what I've seen some people do with their creations after they've done them, uh, because, you know, all of a sudden you've got 61 of these cards, what are you going to do with them, right? Um, what I have seen is that they have taken them some of them will just put a hole punch in one corner and keep them 
on a on a ring, uh, and they can look at them back for inspiration and ideas later on. Other people I've seen, I saw one person do a whole piece of wall art with it, and and actually uh, have it on their wall. They they even stitched a lot of the pieces together, so it's like a big quilt. So it ended up being like this this vocal area on their wall, which was really cool. All right, so we're almost done with this. Uh, all right, and I have all of these little word prompts that I want to use. And I see one right at the top that is exactly what I want to use for this. Oh! Um, so yeah, that you can do like a little wall mural. There. Now, I'm sure there's more I can add to this, but like I said, I wanted to, you know, just kind of mod podge, be simple, try and use what's on my desk and not get too crazy with this today. Um, but I have a lot of really cool prompts in here to use. I think I'm going to try and use up a lot of these during this. So start doing things you love. Now, that isn't standing out very well. Where is my... Let's make this stand out just a little bit more. So I'm just going to outline it with a micron. Micron pen, Pigma micron. And there we have, it's the first card. It has a lot of elements to it. It's a lot of collaging, but you know what? It's a start, so I don't know. So we've got several elements to this. Oh, I should actually outline this butterfly too. I don't know if I can. He's really hard to see. It's funny, the more you look at something that you've created, you're like, oh, I need to, I should do this, and I should change that. You will get to a point where you know you need to stop. It's not always easy, but... There, we have a, at least we can see him a little better. Oh, we got the natural sunlight coming in my window here. So, here is the first card. The theme is sapling, so I actually was able to incorporate a little image of a sapling for today, the, the uh, prompt for today. We also have a sapling in here, um, and I've used some napkin that I've reused. I've got stickers, I've got some stamps, and some old book page. So there is the first card for today. And the and you know, I love the little saying, start doing things you love, which is exactly what I am doing right now. And I love this. This just turned out, you know, far better than I thought it was going to. I'm still learning how to compose items like this so it's going to be a wonderful learning experience for me as well over the 61 days and I really hope you're able to join me on this journey on this adventure and let's have some fun and if you have craft supplies and you want to join in by all means grab them let's play together let's play with our uh, tools and supplies and make some pretty little things um, if we 
if we do enough of these, maybe, you know, on some days when things go a little quicker, I'll make a duplicate, you know, make two at a time, and then maybe I'll have a giveaway at the end of the 61 days and give those extras to someone, you know, so one of the viewers, someone who's watched or someone who has uh, expressed an interest will maybe do a draw, put everyone's name in and, and see who gets to win the prize. Then you could use these as card fronts, as like a, a gift card or a greeting card, um, or even, you know, use it as a postcard, send it to someone that way. So that's going to be it for my stream. Thank you so much for joining along. Naruto, thank you for coming in. Supreme Doom and her hubby ship. Chan, thank you so much. As well as you know, the KDT people. Um, we have Judge Town in and Shadow Reaper. So awesome to have you join me today. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, so now we need to find someone to, to raid. So let me just make sure that's there. And let me see who is on Twitch. Do we have any other crafters on Twitch right now? Um, let me see. Uh, I don't see any other crafters on. But that being said, we can always raid. Do we have any... Oh, wow. I don't even have any... Uh, any other KDT people. So, why don't we raid Bamsey? I'm pretty sure she hasn't been on for too long. Let's see. Where's her? Where's she at? Oh, Nia. An hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, she hasn't been on too long at all. Alright, so. Here is the raid message. Let's see if this works. If I do this right. The raid message for followers. And then this is the raid message for subscribers. So I know I need to change these up. I want to do some for, you know, specifically the crafty, uh, the crafty side of it versus the gaming side of it. But this will work. Uh, I don't have a problem with that at all. So let's do this. We're going to choose Bamsey. And again, I thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I hope you're able to join me each morning, 7 a.m. each morning from 7 till 8. We will do one card, maybe I'll do two, and we'll have a giveaway at the end. So that's it for now. I have to actually get to doing some work after this. So let's go see how what Damsey's up to. Thanks. Thank you, Naruto.